Hey, Odie, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? Uh, I saw a little zebra tail lizard went right into that hole. And I thought I could flush it out from this side, but it is definitely buried underneath the prickly pear cactus right now. You lost them, huh? Ah, I can't catch them all. Ah, but you know what? Check this out. This actually gives me a really cool idea. I'm surrounded by prickly pear cactus right now. And Mark, do you know what that is right there? Yeah, it's a uh, prickle pear. Yeah, it's like prickly pear, like an apple. It's the fruit. Um, but these ones... Is it, wait, hold on. First of all, is it prickle pear or prickly pear? It is prickly pear. And ah. it's called a prickly pear because all over the fruits, especially these ones, which aren't fully ripe, have these little fibrous hairs that are called glow kids. They easily brush off of the cactus and they can end up in your skin. It's why if you bump into a prickly pear, you're gonna be in pain for a long time because you can't see these little stickers very well, but they are very irritating. These fruits right here are really ripe. And actually, this is a great desert snack. You wanna try some prickly pear fruit? I mean, I just had breakfast, but I can have a little more. Oh, come on, you know you want to. Hold on, let me get out my pocket knife here. Now, the ones that are all the way ripe, like this, don't usually have ah, as many glow kids on them, but I'm already starting to get them into my finger. That's what I didn't want to happen. All right, I'm gonna cut it open, you ready? Yep, go for it. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is nice and ripe. Wow, look at that. Kind of looks like beet. It does look like a beet, doesn't it? Let me scoop some of this out here. That's the good stuff. That is the stuff we are after. Oh yeah. Mmm, that is sweet. Okay, ready? Here we go. First bite. This is like breakfast for me here in the desert. Mmm. What's that taste like? Wow, that is good. That's kind of how you have to eat it. You take a scoop out, like a pocket knife. You can also dig it out with your fingers. You can eat the seeds. They're good fiber, but really what we're after right here is the juice. So you kind of have to suck all the juice and the fruit out from around the seeds. And then... You got a little on your nose. Do I? Yeah. You can shoot them like little pellets, which is kind of cool. You want to try it? Uh, sure. Yeah, I've never had it, but... All right, yeah, this will go. Ah, I'm getting the spines in my finger. Yeah, I'll have mine without spines. Yeah, no spines for you. There you go. Now, it's gonna turn your fingers purple, but don't worry, honestly. It looks like it's gonna stain you, but it won't. It's very seedy looking. I'm yeah. not so sure about this. Yeah, trust me, it's good. It is so sweet and delicious. Chance, film him eating this. Let's get his reaction. Mm. It's kind of like a... Yeah, don't pop a filling. Yeah, it's for real. It's like <laughs> a super seedy blackberry that's not quite as sweet. So it tastes good. It's good, right? Animals like javelinas and desert tortoise love eating things. But us as humans, we use them for multiple different foods. You can make jellies, you can make candy, you can actually make cake. But my personal favorite is prickly pear juice. And there's a real simple way to make juice right here without getting the seeds in your mouth. Are you ready for this? What do you do, bash them with rocks? You could bash them with rocks, but then it's gonna make a huge mess. What I'm actually gonna do is use a sock to <clears throat> make a juicer. Oh, Ooh. so you, you have like an extra pair in your uh, your pack there? Nope. I actually am going to take the sock Wait. right off of my foot. For real? Oh yeah. This wigwam sock right here is about to become my desert juicer. So the reason I'm using the sock is because it will help filter out the seeds and the little spines. In you go. There we go. Got another one. Oh, they're so right. Wow, look at that. That is a sock full of prickly pear fruit. Now, I could just chomp into that like a bulldog, but what I'm actually going to do is bash all these fruits apart to get them started with a rock. Oh, there's a good one. Okay. Come here, you. Oh, this is perfect. Ow. One, two, squish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. This is going to be delicious. This is what we call desert sock punch. Now, what I want to do is kind of twist the sock down and force the fruit and the juice out of the tip of the sock. All right, you ready? Oh. Oh, that is good. Freshly squeezed prickly pear juice. 
Delicious! I definitely taste my feet in there. Mmm. It's kind of the aftertaste. At first, it's delicious and sweet, and then you're like, what's that extra tinge? Ooh, sweaty boot foot. Okay, ready? Oh, oh. You want a sip? <laughs> no. All right, ready? Oh, look at that, it's just dripping out now. Go for it. <sighs> Nothing is more refreshing than freshly squeezed prickly pear juice on a Sonoran desert morning. Chance, would you like some? Oh, come on. Mark, how about you? Dude, I squeeze it right into your mouth for you. Look at that. Oh, uh, you guys sure? Why no. not? Dude, that, that sock's been on your foot all morning. Nope. Uh, that's fair to say. The sock, the sock has been on my foot I don't foot even know if I would do it with uh, my own sock. Mm. I'll take your word for it. It looks, <sighs> uh, looks purple. Well, and here's the trick. You know what my mouth is not full of right now? Spines. There are no glow kids in my mouth. There are no seeds. I was rather careless in how I squeezed this juice out and I actually did that on purpose. I probably could have done a better job of not getting it all over my clothes and I know you're saying to yourselves right now, Coyote, your tan colored shirt that helps you blend into the desert environment has been dyed purple. You look like a ravenous vampire. Actually, one common misconception is that the prickly pear fruit stains. All I need to do is take this shirt inside, throw it in the washing machine, and it's gonna come out like it was brand new. Believe it or not, and all this dye is gonna wash right out of my hands with just a little soap and water. Mm, but it is so good. A little bit more. Ah. I'm gonna head inside right now, jump in the shower, and throw these guys into the washing machine. And the next time you see me in this outfit, it's gonna to be totally free of prickly pear juice. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Ooh, what a breakfast. If you enjoyed this on location, make sure to go back and watch Coconut Breakfast with everyone's favorite iguana, Wilson. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location. All right guys, this is it, the moment of truth. Are my clothes still stained after being washed and sun dried in the desert. Look at that. Not a single stain from the prickly pear juice. Adventure shirt, good to go. Well, I guess we've proven it that the prickly pear juice does not stain your clothes. See you on the next location.